In this video, I break down some of the biggest misconceptions that I've observed about doing a PhD. Because for some people who might not expect it, it might turn out to be a really fulfilling experience, like it's been for me. Arguably, the biggest misconception out there is that doing a PhD equates to studying, when in reality, it is a work experience. So by definition, a PhD means that you're working on a research project that will further the current understanding of humanity in a particular field. You're basically creating new scientific knowledge. So you show up every day to do work and get paid for it. You can either work on an existing project that the university already set up, or you can propose your own project idea in a field that you're passionate about. You're basically working as a scientist, which I think is pretty cool. For example, in my case, my PhD is primarily associated with the School of Computer Science, but I also work with the university's School of Biology and School of Earth and Environmental Science. And my project involves a lot of diverse work. I went on a research trip to Antarctica to liaise with fellow scientists and to collect data. Then I also develop my own software products and work with other museums to place them in exhibitions that I'm also designing. You also have to do loads of presentations and write a lot of reports. There's a lot of diversity in the work and skills skills required in taking a PhD from start to finish. And this brings me to the next big misconception about doing a PhD, which is that your skills and knowledge get very narrow and focused to your own research niche. Apart from the diversity of work, there are so many PhD programs that are interdisciplinary and have real-world applicability. I have colleagues in computer science that are developing better AI systems for medical diagnoses, or others that are helping museums through digitization. The plethora of things that you can do throughout your PhD is pretty much limitless, and the projects proposed by universities themselves will always relate to real-world issues, because doing a PhD means solving a challenge that has never been solved before. And most universities want their research to make a big impact. What's more, you are given a lot of ownership and flexibility over the work that you're doing. If during your research you make some discoveries that might take you to a different area than what was originally proposed for your project, you have full freedom to follow these curiosities, and a lot of PhD projects tend to change from what was originally planned out. Another big myth that I've observed is that a lot of people believe that a PhD is only relevant if you want to go into academia. Of course, if you want to become a scientist or a lecturer, having a PhD is most likely a requirement. However, a lot of employers seek candidates that have a PhD. Back when I was living in London, I used to help tech startups with their hiring processes, and they were looking for candidates that had a PhD, especially in technical fields. And the reason why employers seek people with a PhD is because it shows that those people are experts in their field and that they're dedicated and can handle commitment and hard work. So you can go into academia or pursue any field that's related to your PhD. And throughout your doctoral program, you're probably going to build a really strong network that will help you with job opportunities in the future. A lot of PhD researchers go to many conferences and they collaborate with organizations from the field that they are investigating. Which means that as a PhD student, you are building strong connections with practitioners from the companies and areas that you're most likely passionate about and would like to work in in the future. You can also build strong connections by doing placements throughout your PhD. At my university, for example, you have the opportunity to do a work placement with a company of your choice. So this is an opportunity to work side by side with experts from your field, and you can build a stronger business acumen. What's more, it gives you the chance to collaborate with people. And that's another misconception that I find about doing a PhD, that it's a very individual work experience, when in reality, there are many team PhD projects that you can apply to. And also, even when you do an individual PhD program, you can still collaborate with other researchers and do projects or papers together. Even though I'm doing an individual PhD project, my main supervisor has his own research group. And this has allowed me to do collaborative work many times. Another misconception that I've seen a lot is people thinking that a PhD is kind of like a death sentence and you have to finish it. In reality, you can leave your PhD just like any other job. And if you were given funding, you don't have to pay any of that back. On average, a PhD lasts between three to four years, which is a significant amount of time. So people can change their minds or they fell out of passion with the subject that they're researching. So it's completely possible and okay to leave your PhD program if it doesn't serve you anymore. You can even freeze a month or two to catch a break and think about it more. Another misconception about doing a PhD is that you really have 
have to struggle financially. It's impossible to definitely say that somebody is going to struggle with money or not throughout the PhD because it depends on so many things like where you live or how much funding you got. However, there are some financial aspects about doing a PhD that I didn't know about and I feel like nobody talks about either. Firstly, although you're working and you're earning a salary, you somehow have student status and this gives you access to all student discounts which can be really significant. Especially in the UK, students are exempt from council tax which literally saves you £2,000 a year. Also, the salary that you get for your PhD is not taxed and it doesn't add to your tax threshold. What's more, there are a lot of work opportunities for PhD students. You can do some part-time work with the university by leading tutorials or lecturing, or you can do the work placements that I've mentioned with an outside organization. These give you an extra salary for the work that you're doing. For example, I'm getting paid 7.5k for three months of full-time work. Let me know what misconceptions surprised you the most, or if you have any other questions. I'm Maria, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.